So kennel cough, you may have heard a dog sound like this or sound like this. Um, those are all sounds of, of kennel cough type symptoms. Um, when you have dogs, when you breed dogs, things like that, you may come across it. It's highly contagious. I'm going to show you the steps that we take in order to completely eliminate it um, and treat it at home. So stay tuned. So what's going on, Boy Fam? It's your boy, the dog breeding educator, the dog breeding scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Nine Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today um, we're talking about kennel cough. Um, kennel cough is extremely, like I said, con extremely contagious. Um, you find it all over the place. Um, I wanted to show you guys the tips and tricks that we use to treat this. Um, thank God I don't have a dog here that actually has kennel cough right now, but I've come across this numerous amount of times. Even when I try to avoid it, I've still may have come across it um, here and there. And um, we have found these treatments I'm gonna show you guys to be the most effective. So um, kennel cough, right? Kennel cough is like an upper respiratory infection. They're usually gonna be like hacking, coughing. Um, they can have a runny nose, a lot of mucus. Um, that's really like, it, it, it. and the best way I could describe it is like it's like a cold for dogs most places you'll find it is like at maybe at parks um i've gotten it when i when i used to go to a lot of dog shows um people you have those people who don't care and they bring their dogs there um that have you know those symptoms of coughing runny nose and they still want to bring their dog show their dog and now everyone at the show is getting that um, I had that happen plenty of times. Another scenario, more than more, the most recent scenario. This was about last year. I, I went to the vet, and um, I needed a progesterone test done. Um, my I had ran out of test strips. Um, surprisingly, um, I ran out of test strips, so I went to the vet. I uh, had a progesterone done, and when I brought my dog back, she caught kennel cough, and all the dogs in my kennel got it. And I was plenty pissed. So that's the thing. It's so contagious. If you have one dog. Be prepared, you're gonna to have to treat all of them pretty much. So um, that's yet again why when I even go to the vet, I make sure I pick my dogs up. Uh, well, before I even go in, I call them and I say, hey, let me know when I'm ready to come inside. I'm gonna come straight into the exam room. I don't wanna be sitting in the waiting room. That's what I do. So when they tell me they're ready, now I pick my dogs up and I bring them into the exam room and um, I'll maybe bring a blanket and put it on top of the uh, exam table, you know? But um, anyway, like I said, kennel cough, highly, highly, highly contagious, just like, just like a cold. So um, your dog has it, right? Um, I showed you guys the clips of some of the symptoms of what it seems like, what it sounds like, things like that. Um, now you're looking at your dog and you believe the dog has kennel cough or you've gone to the vet and, you, and the vet has confirmed it's a case of kennel cough. Um, what can you do to treat it? And these are super simple things you can do um, at home. So. Um, the, the cough being one of the, the, the leading things, it, it's a real like hacking type of cough. So the antibiotic that I like to use for kennel cough that I find that works every single time is doxycycline. Um, doxycycline is great and they come, it comes in different forms. So I'm gonna show you guys a major gem a lot of people don't even know about. So the first two is like liquid doxy. This is great like if you're using it for puppies. Most of the time, if you're getting liquid doxycycline, um, you have to get it from a vet or there's websites and things like that that you can you know buy it from or whatever so um that's the first thing you give them liquid doxycycline um each one is different so the dosages are going to vary um but with liquid doxycycline all doxy doxycyclines i'll give it to the dogs for about five to seven days um and that usually really helps with you know clearing it up sometimes it may take a little bit longer but you know generally within that window um another thing is um you can give it in a pill form, not only in a pill form, but they actually have it for fish. Now, yet again, I'm not a vet, you know, read the disclaimer in my description. You know, Here's the disclaimer. I didn't read this disclaimer. You no, know, um, this is just what we do here. So at your own risk, don't sue me. But um, the doxycycline that they make for fish, um, I'm willing to bet is, is exactly the same as the doxycycline they prescribe for 
you know, humans or dogs or whatever. So that's what we use. I'll use some, you know, doxycycline for fish. And um, the doxycycline for fish is about like 100 milligrams. So off the top of my head, I believe it treats like uh, one pill treats like 20 to 25 pounds or something like that. Um, yet again, I'm not your vet. So do your own research as well. But um, so you can get it for fish and it'll get shipped straight to your front door and you can use um, the, the tablet form, um, where, which works very well. For younger puppies, you'll have to use something like this, like if they're really, really young. But um, as they get older, you can use the pill form like this and it works great at clearing it up. Just in general, period, it works great for upper respiratory infections. So um, as such as kennel cough. So you can get a pill form, save yourself a lot of money. You know, um, that, that's a big gem right there. Another thing you can use is, um, and I would lean more towards using doxycycline. You can use this in junction with um, the doxycycline and it actually will act stronger is Clavamox. Um, so, you know, you can get Clavamox on your hands or your vet can prescribe it, whatever. Or like I said, there's websites. Um, you can use Clavamox and use those two together. And now it, it becomes even stronger, um, the antibiotics. So, but like I said, doxycycline is, in my opinion, the best um, drug for kennel cough. And like I said, you can get the liquid form, you can get the pill form, you can get the fish form and save yourself a lot of money. So that's what we use. So some other remedies that you can do as well is, um, and I'm going to shoot an episode on this, but you can use, um, try using some of the, the green juice that supposedly works on, on kennel cough, uh, the green juice cure, as well as um, nebulizer. You can use a nebulizer on the dog, get some saline solution. You can make your own saline solution at home. They sell it at like CVS and stuff like that, um, that you'd use for your like, kids. You don't need a prescription. And uh, that'll help, you know, just as if you're doing the nebulizer yourself, it'll help bring in some moisture and help kind of, you know, bring the mucus out. You could also run a hot bath. Um, you could run a sh your, your shower and get that really running and really steamy for about five to 10 minutes on, on full blast, the heat. And then um, once you got that going, bring your dog in and allow them to breathe in that air and uh, it'll help break up the mucus and things like that. Same thing for a human, you know, if, if you're feeling sick and you take a hot shower, you know? So those things work as well. Um, we have the canine nebulizers, breedershacks.com. Those work phenomenally well. Um, it'll come with some solution packs and things like that. And that works. Um, you could also use um, the neonatal suction machines, actually. Um, you can use that too. If the mucus is, is, is that much there, I've used that plenty of times in clearing out, you know, um, the puppy or um, the adult dog's nose. I've used it on adult dogs too. So um, that works as well. That works great as well, clearing out that mucus, you know, getting that mucus out so the dog can breathe better and feel a little bit better. So those are just like the treatments and the things that we do that really, you know, eliminates kennel cough. And it's really just like a cold. You just want to get past it, you know. So some final thoughts is with very mild cases of kennel cough, I just think some doxycycline will be more than enough. Um, with some more severe cases, you can do like doxycycline, add clavamox, do the nebulizer, do the suction machine, and that'll like really help with dogs that are really, you know, more severe cases and really in distress. Um, it also becomes a lot more severe when it's a much younger, you know, almost say like newborn puppies or something like that, you know, then you're on a whole different playing field. Um, you want to nip that in the butt as fast as possible. But like I said, for young dogs, for older dogs, um, generally it's not really like life threatening or anything like that. Um, they'll, they'll get past it. Um, and like I said, giving them some light like, antibiotics or something like that will really kind of help, you know, when they're feeling sick like that. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you guys this quick video so then you guys have this information. If you go to the information center on breedershacks.com, I'll put where you can get the doxycycline, um, the dosage, things like that. That's where I kind of have all the information that I store, all my personal notes and things like that. Um, so then you guys can go ahead and have this for yourself. Um, and, 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 per and where I purchase it online, it'll all be on the information center on breedershacks.com. And while you're at Breeders Hacks, you know, make sure to check out the great products that we got. Um, we're gonna be doing a giveaway soon, so I'm excited about that. Um, giving away one of our veterinary grade products. So um, definitely stay tuned. It's gonna be to a lucky person who purchases a product on our website. So um, with that being said, I hope this information was helpful. 
I hope it was useful. Um, if you did find it helpful, if you did find it useful, maybe I missed something, whatever, drop a comment down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.